Right. Is it for turtles or koi or both? Definitely for koi. This okay, is this is a koi pond, okay. Oh. So go ahead, design this water feature with uh, Franklin. Well, let's hear from Franklin, I guess, get his master plan, what he's thinking about here, and what the goals of this uh, water feature are. So honestly, I've always kind of like thought it'd be so sick to have this like full stretch, like beautiful, deep, perfect, all the way down it. So we're gonna need to have some sort of a filtration system. So what I'm thinking here is we'd probably have to do like an under gravel under the entire bottom. So we have this huge upflow across the entire bottom of this thing and all that water would come up. The, the coil will love it because the bacteria, microorganisms and stuff that live in that top layer of gravel, it's gonna be a perfect food source for it. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. Constantly heating on it. I think it would work really, really well. I think our challenge here is gonna be, we're gonna need to get uh, what we call termination strips. We're gonna have to mount, we're gonna have to attach the rubber liner up to this entire yeah. structure. So we're gonna take the rubber liner, put the whole thing in there, and then we attach it. We bolt it directly into the concrete, and then we cover it with natural stones. We'll probably just take like big slabs of flagstone or something and stand them up on edge. Yeah. Hide it. You know, we could do that rock cloth. We could talk to Universal Rock. Yeah. I'm going to a place called Universal Rocks. They make fake rock panels for zoos, aquariums, and stuff all over the world. Oh yeah, heck yeah. Let's then we just... <laughs> there you go. The whole thing and That'll give you a lot more room for the fish and we'll give more room. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, for sure. The cool thing is, is that this pond would be so long. It would be like from all the way back there, all the way up yes. here. One big animal that loves koi and fish <laughs> will be that dog right there. He will be up here looking. <laughs> Promise you all day long. All right, so the next time we're here, all of these plants will be gone and we'll be replacing it with a beautiful koi pond with maybe koi that you pick up in Japan. Oh, maybe? That'd be cool. <laughs> That's Not bad. Awesome. Good morning, guys. We are out here at Raw Fishing today and we are going to be putting in a very unique feature for the man himself, Franklin. He is already hard at work. We just got here and I think we need to jump right to it. So first things first, Franklin's ripping out bushes right now and we are gonna get the truck unloaded and then we'll go through a game plan of what we got going on in his front yard today. Twelve seconds later. All right guys, so I found just the guy to explain what we have going on today for you. Ed the Pond Professor, what do we have going in here? We are transforming a planter into a koi pond. So this is gonna be a really cool transformation. Yesterday there was a bunch of shrubs and everything in here, kind of blocking up the front of the home. So what we're doing, we removed all that shrubbery. We're gonna come in, excavate this entire area out, and we're gonna install a beautiful koi pond. So Franklin was just on a trip with Greg Witchstock, the pond guy. They went over to Japan, they picked out some really cool fish, and that's what's gonna stock this thing up. So guys, don't forget to check out Greg's channel as well as Franklin's we are gonna get this thing rocking and rolling all right old pond is coming out out with the old in with the new all right guys so check this out as you can see Franklin already cleared all this out for us we have a nice clean slate to start working with we're gonna take all this down this is all gonna be water in here and we are about to start excavation right now let's start digging And the work begins. You got a chain gang, and it's really nice to have a dump trailer that we can just get rid of the spoils. I almost forgot to tell you guys what makes this so unique. We are actually not gonna rock this in with natural rock. We are bringing in these faux rock panels because it's such an odd shape and because we're going so deep and we're not gonna be able to put shelves in like we usually would. This thing is just gonna be lined with these fake rock panels. It's gonna be a tricky installation, but it's gonna be so worth it in the end because this thing is gonna look kick butt. So once this is all dug out, guys, the skimmer is gonna go right here where Matt's digging and then our little filtration system is gonna go right on the other side of that. This is all gonna be water. All right, the excavation is going along pretty smoothly. Actually, not anymore. Now they're hitting a bunch of old construction debris down in the bottom here. It's just pretty nasty stuff down inside of there. What we're doing is the pond is gonna be about 30 inches deep. So what we have to do is we have to recess 
the aqua blocks down below this edge right here. That's gonna be part of our filtration system. So we gotta go down about another two feet. Our rocks just arrived. So this is our fake rocks. We are gonna unload those and get him on the way. So we're gonna pull everybody off right now and we'll unload him. All right, we got our rock panels. Just came in from Universal Rock down in Texas. So you can see what the guys have done. They cut all this material out and we hauled it away. So now what we need to do is we have to finish this off. So you can see on the bottom here, our wetland filtration system. This is gonna be an upflow filter located on the bottom of the pond. The reason we're doing this is Franklin is gonna load this up with all types of beautiful koi. We didn't have much room here. So this was our challenge. We had to come up with a way to filter this and move water. So we're gonna have a skimmer over on one side. We're gonna discharge water into this bottom. This is gonna create an upwelling area. The rest of the water will be discharged over into this section to make sure that we have proper flow going back over to our skimmer filter. Again, this is just a very weird shape. It will look awesome, more of a modernistic design, but what I love about it is just the transformation, going from just a simple raised planting bed into a beautiful uh, koi pond is really gonna be spectacular here. Guys are over here. They're cutting the plastic off of the rubber liner. We actually have to seam the liners together because of the configuration of this pond. You can see it's long and it makes a hard 90 turn so we have one big liner and then we have to we're gonna have to probably have to seam that corner over there here are the rock panels that are gonna go over everything to create that desired look all right a little jigsaw puzzle huh yeah exactly because of the configuration of the home it's just like an L a 90 degree what I'm trying to do is create a liner that's gonna fit that a little bit better otherwise if we just threw in this big 20 foot wide liner it'd create a huge big bunch of all these weird folds and all that stuff mm. and we'd have a big mass of stuff right along those windows just be a pain in the butt to work with so what we're trying to do is trim away all the excess material make it as light as possible and then allow us to kind of manipulate everything inside of there All right, our liner's in place. We got a bunch of just duct tape, Gorilla tape, everything that we can do to hold all that stuff in place just because of this weird shape. Our snorkel, our centipede is down the middle. We have our plumbing connection going in. This is gonna be our clean out. And then the, the aqua box are there as that water distribution system. So what we're doing right now is guys are over there. They're loading up buckets of uh, gravel. We're gonna start filling in between the edge of the block and the edge of, edge of the liner. We're gonna lock that space in with the river rock. That'll stabilize everything. And then we can start layering in the media on top of that. Once that's done, we come in with our rock panels, bolt those in place, and I will feel a lot better. Good right there, hold up. So now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna need to get a level going across here to get our elevation. All right, grab me one of those strips. Greg, you are gonna probably have to hold. Filming uh, and holding multi well. All right, so Ed, real quick, what are you doing real quick? We're drilling into the side of your house. Oh my gosh, so you're gonna drill, <laughs> they're gonna drill right there and then that seam is gonna flat so back this over. It's gonna get attached into the concrete and it's gonna hold everything in place. And then this decorative panel will come down this way and you're gonna see that beautiful fake That snow. is so cool, man. Greg, what are your thoughts, buddy? And my thoughts are we've never done this in this 29 in this years. <laughs> <laughs> so what are those? Gotta to explain to everybody. Those are obviously tap cons, but you know, what These are, are they These are tap cons. For? These are designed for anchoring into concrete. So it's got a really uh, rough coarse thread on it, specially made screw the actual screw is slightly larger in diameter than the drill so what it does is it actually bites right into the concrete beautiful and it beautiful will beautiful be bulletproof perfect as long as it doesn't strip okay let's see it looks like guys oh yes oh that looks dude that is awesome <laughs> We're down to the details. We got most of the river rock in for the wetland filter. Uh, we're trimming up all the liner and everything around the perimeter. The uh, rock panels are really, really cool. They are a different finishing process than we're used to. We're used to natural stone. So again, just a little bit of a learning process here. Backfilling the skimmer over here to hold everything in place. And then you can see that rock panel is going all the way around that end. We still have to cut a hole in that to allow water to get into the skimmer box. We have two pumps located inside of that skimmer. They're gonna be feeding water, one to the wetland filter, the 
other, you can see this elbow right here, which we still have to kind of dress that corner up, is going to feed water to a jet that's going to blast water out of that far corner just to make sure that we have the necessary circulation. Like I was saying, the rock panels, I'm really happy. Just look at the way that it's a really nice, clean look. Bright tones, earth tones, and everything. What we're going to do to finish this, we are trimming up the liner edges. We are going to caulk this edge right over in here, and then we're going to dress it up with a little bit of a coloring mix that come with these panels. So it's just kind of a little touch-up kit that's going to allow us to blend everything together to make for that seamless look. panels come down to the bottom, the gravel goes over the edge and it locks it all in place. The finished product looks really, really cool. All right guys, almost done with the raw fishing build. It looks killer. It's super unique and not something that we we're used to doing, but it has turned out absolutely awesome. Right now the guys are just finishing up some of the edging, which is totally different technique than we would usually be using here. All right, it's day all, number three. It's day number three and we are kind of close, it looks like. We are kind of close. We're going in through a finishing process that we normally don't do. So we're used to setting big giant boulders, rock, gravel, foam. This is fake rock panels. Looks really, really cool. Completely different installation process. I love the look of it, but the finishing process is all these little details, a little bit different for us. It's taken us a little bit of a learning curve to kind of tweak it out, but I'm liking the way this is looking. You know, we're just trying to blend that stuff. We want to cover up all that fabric in the liner, and we're trying to blend it in with the right mixture of colors that Universal Rock sent with these rock panels. So we have all the pieces. Now it's just implementation. All right guys, as you can tell, it is completely pitch black out now. There is no light left besides the light that's on the house and the lights that we put in the pond. All I can say is it looks awesome. I wish we could fill it up with water and have this done today, but unfortunately that is not gonna happen because there still has a little bit of dirt in there from the gravel, so that's gonna get all washed out. Franklin's gonna fill this thing up. It's gonna look awesome. Skimmer there. Automatic dosing system, oh, all this it full rock. Have, it looks you're... awesome. I know it's super, super hard to see, but like I said, Franklin will be able to show you this whenever he gets it filled up, which probably is going to be tomorrow. With that being said, we're out of here. We have a drive, so we are going to get on the road. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.